and welcome back to English with Is. Today I want to talk about another idiom to wind someone up. To wind someone up usually means to tease or annoy a person or an animal. You irritate them and you can make them feel like this. So we could say that the cat is really wound up. Wound up is the adjective you can use to describe how you feel when someone is winding you up. You can feel very angry, uh, nervous, excited and also very tense. If you tease and annoy someone a lot, if you wind them up a lot, they could eventually explode in emotion. Now I'm going to show you some of the top ways to wind someone up. him up. So I'm teaching you English but I'm also teaching you how to lose your friends. It's not always a person who is responsible for winding someone up. People and animals can wind themselves up and it can also be due to a situation. So for example my friend is trying to find an apartment she can't find an apartment and this is really winding her up. Or my dog was winding himself up yesterday when he was trying to chase his tail. Thank you for watching. Feel free to go and practice winding people up as well as your English language skills. See you next time.